Hello, welcome to C Programming. This is Shaji. In this video, I am going to start C Programming from the very beginning. But here I am going to introduce a new or a different ID that is Dev C++. It's very interesting, very easy to use. The Dev was C++. Uh, this IDE um, integrated one with the compiler and uh, development environment everything together and the interesting feature of uh, dev C++ is that it will work on the Windows operating system so the previous uh, ones which I have used in my tutorials those were uh, DOS based ones that is Turbo C++ DC integrated editor so this one we can directly uh, run on the Windows uh, rest of the things are same but uh, the IDE is different and we will get a uh, easy to use when we are using when we are working with the Windows operating systems uh, let us see this uh, window is just like any other window in the Windows operating system we have a file menu here go to new and start a new project and in the project we can see some options here uh, Windows applications, console applications, static library, DLL, empty project. There are five options given here. We are going to choose console application because that is the one which we, we are doing all this time for the DOS based console C programming. And if you want to Windows applications with uh, graphics, GUI and all, you can go for this one and uh, these two are for the library, MT is an empty project where we can design our, our own project style. So choose console application and give a name for the project and choose whether you are using C++ or C or C++. Okay, I am going to choose C project and I am going to make it as my default language as well. Click OK. Okay, now it is asking me whether to where to store it. So I have a project to I'm going to save it. Yes. And here amazingly there is a program, C program automatically generated by the IDE. This is the program and the name of the program is given as main.c. That is a default name. Let me save it. Okay, it is asking for the name already by default it is main. I saved with the na same name and C programs usually as we know we have the extension dot C main dot C that is the name of the file here these two lines if you are new to see these two lines are header files include stdio.h include stdlib.h anyhow time being I am not going to use stdlib I have deleted it and here is one statement system actually the system requires the library function the library file stdlib that's why they have included it so now the C program became very small with three lines of code the very first line is include stdio.h hash include stdio.h stdio.h is a header file in C where we have some input output definitions stdio means standard input output some definitions are given about standard input output in the header file so if you are using some such thing we have to include this one we are using this one because here i am going to use a function to print something to display something okay let me try it printf that is the name of the method or function P R I N T F print of and what to display whatever we want to welcome come to see welcome to see so I want to print welcome to see so in the method I'm going to give print welcome to see so let us see what are all the lines of code here so when you run this program we will just get this as output welcome to see 
for that we have to write this many lines of codes okay anyhow anyhow we are straight away jumping into c programming without saying anything about the background whether you are new to c or not no whatever be the thing we can just learn in this way straight away we can uh, have a gem start method of learning programming language i think that will be interesting and effortless if you learn the whole lot of theory and then start learning the programming is very difficult to get the feeling what really the program is going to do okay let us choose this style okay i'm going to tell what are all these lines for so this line i already told as include stdio.h means it is including a file called stdio.h the file the file stdio.h is in this system and this file we are including because then only our compiler will know what is this printf for the printf is for printing a string string means some text which is given in double quotation so welcome to c is a string okay then int main main is the name of a method a main method will be there in all the c programs because main is the entry point of a c program without main there won't be a c program that is for sure and the int before the main is a qualifier int is the type after the successful execution of this main function after doing the functionality of this function main it will give a value and the type of the value is integer type some integer number it will give back to the operating system after the successful execution of this function that's what this int means main is the method name function's name int is the type and here after this method we have a round bracket here started and one ending here in between we have certain things these are called the arguments or the parameters of the main method here again we have an int this int is the type of the variable argc is a variable argc is a variable variable means in a variable we can save something we cannot save anything on the constant because constant is constant variable is variable this argc is just a variable in which we can store an integer value for example 1 2 3 3 4 5 6 any number you can save there and we have one more variable there is a star in the beginning and a square bracket at the end and here the qualifier it is given character if you have a star and a square bracket then it is an array of string okay those things we will discuss later and char, char is the type and this is a variable name the star means something like pointer we will discuss later uh, detail about this pointer and this square bracket on and off this is for uh, arrays those things we will discuss later this is not at all important just give this code line of code then here the code which i have given for you that is print f and within that we have given welcome to c so i want welcome to c to be printed on the screen and finally here there is an return zero there is one more line that is return zero the reason we are giving return is because this main is a method which is supposed to return an integer value we are just returning zero for the name sake to show that the program executed successfully so at most the meaningful only one line of code is here rest of the things are just procedures and formalities don't think much about it if you want to print something use print a function open the round bracket close it and within quotation you give whatever you want to print and there should be a semicolon at the end of each and every executable lines don't put a semicolon here if you put a semicolon here rest of the things will not be executed even then it's an error it will make an error so every completed statement this is not completed because there is a curly bracket opening closing this is completed at the end at the end we are not supposed to give semicolon as well so here the line of code where we are giving our commands 
when it is ended we need a semicolon at the end to show the end okay we can save the file here the file is saved then we have some procedures this code is in a high level language called C the one which we are uh, dealing with we have to translate this one into binary code or machine code with the help of compiling it so for compiling we have to compile so it's compiling the file which is being compiled is main is done number of errors zero number of warnings zero so it is done we got the file compiled then we can run it or execute it run and this is the conventional output window which we have seen even in the DOS welcome to C programming okay something wrong of course something seriously wrong execute run compare and run compare the current file is done okay done Now it is successfully running, but we are not able to see the output. Let me try one more command. That is one more function. That is get cs. I have given one more function here. The function is get cs. Get cs is to get a character from the keyboard. And actually, this get cs is defined in another header file. So I have to include that as well. Ash include. Conio.h hash in root Conio.h. So let me save it. And let me run it. Okay. Now we are getting the excite output which we want to get. Welcome to see. Previously we got the display welcome to see programming we got that because there is another program which i have done before there i have typed it welcome to see programming so i have to press some key so that it will exit if you want to change this one welcome to see G R O G R A M R A N G. welcome to see programming blah 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 so whatever you want to get it displayed give it within quotation that is called string and again we are going to compiling running everything done we got the output so press any key done this is the simple simplest C program so you can try this IDE, developer C++ IDE, you can try, you can download it. Um, the original version or the trial version, whichever you feel, you download, use it. It's very interesting, comfortable. You can use, play around with your mouse, copy, paste and all. And even compiling, running, everything you can do it straight away. Even, you, you, even if you want, you can develop windows based applications okay time being we are only dealing with dos based console applications it is having a very good look and feel than that of the previous turbo c ide and sometimes we will be facing some difficulty to run turbo c in some versions of windows especially windows 7 8 vista and all so in that case i think this ID will help you to compile your program and support your learning process. Okay, this is the first program. Let me stop here.
again i'm shaji my email id is it underscore teacher one at yahoo.com website shajifilip.com if you have any queries regarding this video or anything general with c programming please feel free to write to me thank you bye